<clears throat> oh, right, boy, people. So, I've just woken up. I've been up for less than ten minutes. I have tried filming this specific tutorial now five times, and apparently all of the conditions have been just terrible for it. Anyway, here we go. This is a um, the fourth installment of the Poi Boy Blue Tech Blog, and it's another tutorial. What I'm going to do is show you how to do the crosser weave, which is my own name for the technique. I'm, I've seen a couple people do it more as a transition than as a actual technique but I've found that you can do a nice little flourish with it to make it a dance, or make it flow better in your dance. Here's what you do. Get comfortable with the two beat, or the three beat weave, obviously. Not obviously. I keep saying that I shouldn't. Get comfortable with the three beat weave. While you're doing the three beat weave, learn to have your wrists touch the elbow of the opposite hand. So, this position here, basically. The same position that you learn to get into crossers with. Okay? So you're here. You throw it over, you throw it over, you throw it over, throw it over, right? And that's your weave. Now, this is still just the three beat weave you want to add two more beats on it so it's going to turn itself into basically a five beat weave but those next two beats are crosser so whereas that's the five beat weave you're going to let your body sort of flow into the crosser on each side if you can see what I'm doing there I'll go through all that again facing the side. My three beat weave has my elbows bent and my wrists touching the elbow of the opposite side at most times. Um, you go from here to throwing it behind you and allowing for an extra couple of beats which turns it essentially into five beat weave. But it's not a five beat, it's a crosser that you're doing, so it's a crosser weave. Now, showing you how to use that as a transition. Um, the transition itself is really just this, throwing one hand over the other while you're in that weave. The reason is because you can be doing three beat weave here, and then, you know, three beat weave, throw one hand over into a crosser. Three beat weave, throw one hand under into a crosser. Right? Um, so basically that's the same motion that you would be using. This is just a way to get it really fluid and smooth. Now, how I was saying you can add that sort of flourish to it to make it more dense like, and you can do this however you want, but I found that if I'm sort of snaking my body back and forth, it tends to look really smooth, really nice. So, anyway, that's all. Uh, go ahead and play with it. Uh, get back to me if there are any variations of it that you've seen that you want me to try, um, that you think any of us could benefit from. And if you've learned from this, then I'm glad. All right, talk to you guys soon.